Hi everyone! This video is going to show you how to save images from the internet onto your iPad so we can use them for your project later on. Um, I'm going to show you where to tap by moving this little yellow circle. So wherever I move that, that's where you're going to tap. So the first thing you're going to do is tap your Safari button with your finger. And we're going to look for our images in Google. But if Google isn't the page that came up on your um, Safari app, just go up to this bar and tap with your finger. And then type in google.com and then tap go. Once you're on Google, we're going to want to go and look at just the images. So you're going to go over into this corner and tap on the word images with your finger. Now we know we're in the right spot because it should say images right here. Once you've gotten there, go ahead and tap your finger into the bar and type in what you're searching for. I'm going to look for pictures of the rainforest for my project. Once you have that tapped in, typed in, go ahead and tap on the go and it will bring up all the pictures. So this is all the pictures on the internet, but we're not allowed to use every single picture we want, so we have to do one more step. We have to go to search tools and tap on that, and it will bring up all these different options. So then you're going to tap on usage rights. This tells us which ones that we can use where we won't get in trouble. And you're going to want to choose labeled for reuse. So tap that with your finger. And this will show you all the images that people said it's okay for you to use for your project because we want to make sure we don't break the law while we're looking for images. So you can scroll down at all the different images and choose which one you want to use for your project. I think this one's super cool. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on that one. And now I just want to save it to my camera roll. So this is a little different. Instead of tapping, you're going to put your finger on the image and just hold it down until you see this box appear. Once this box appears, you can tap on save image with your finger. Now once the box disappears that should mean that it's in your camera roll. So to get to your camera roll you're going to push the little circular button that is on your iPad on the bottom of it and that will take you back to your home screen. And now you're going to want to go to your photos and tap on that. Now if you go to your camera roll you'll see that the picture of your tiger is right there. And if you want to see it bigger, you can tap on it again here, and it will make it big. So go ahead and find all the pictures you want to use for your project and save them to your camera roll so we're all ready to do the next step. Thank you, guys.